Hi, I'm Veronica Dashell from the Earth Station Trek podcast. I don't know a whole lot about the original series, and I haven't seen a lot of the episodes, so I've been going through some of the classic ones with Strange New Worlds coming out, and I'm talking about them. And I watched a muck time tonight. Um, it was, I finished it tonight. Um, there were two previous attempts to start it, but it was late at night. And by late at night, I mean, probably like nine 30, 10 o'clock. Cause I, I fall asleep early and I got about halfway through. So finally I was like, let's start at the halfway point, which is where I seem to always fall asleep. Um, not because it was boring, but because it was at night and I was exhausted. Um, so I, I finally finished it tonight. So in a muck time, Spock goes crazy into Ponfar and he has to go back to Vulcan. Um, and if he doesn't get back to Vulcan, he's apparently going to die and potentially kill people because they won't let him get back to Vulcan. Then he has to do this really weird looking ritual thing in a arena looking space. T'Pau comes out on her little throne and T'Pring comes in and they both approach this little gong thing that Spock had rung before that. Um, and when he rears his hand back to hit it, which I assume is how the ceremony happens, um, she like flings her hand up and yells something, which I don't remember and I wish I did because it sounded really cool. And apparently she's challenging him and she gets to choose someone to challenge him we later find out that it's a fight to the death and she has chosen kirk um so kirk has to fight spock to the death and spock is in a place where he wants to get to his woman and he's in the grip of it and he has to kill kirk to get to his woman so he has to kill kirk to get to his woman and he tries to argue with T'Pau about it um, because he knows that it's going to be a fight to the death, but Kirk doesn't know this yet until he already agrees to it, which is really, really stupid. And I don't understand how Vulcan logic made that possible because logically he should have had all the information if he was going to die. So they have a fight with what people like to call Q-tips, although I don't see them as Q-tips at all. Because there was a little blady thing on one side and a little, um, I don't know, a non-Q-tip thing on the other side. They were banging each over, over the head with or breaking. And um, they were very all clearly cardboard. Because um, at one time, the I don't know, he's some kind of guard, but he like swiped his blade between two people to like get them to stop or something earlier before the fight and i saw the blade wobble which amused me a little bit the fight scene was interesting there there were times when it, it was very strange the way they were doing the fighting um i did like when uh the, the weapons actually like flew out of their hands and they had to um, use other things around them or when it broke and they had to make do and then there was like a pause and um, McCoy was like Kirk can't survive in this the atmosphere is too thin let me give him this injection so it'll help him breathe better in the atmosphere so he gives him the injection and then he and Spock are like fighting with these rope things that are not exactly rope but that kind of general thing and they're wrapping it around each other's necks and Spock wins and Kirk's dead the end really not really because of course Kirk isn't going to die and um but Spock thinks he really killed him so Spock goes to Pring and was like hey why'd you do this she's like it's logical I didn't want you anymore I wanted this guy so uh, if I married you, I wouldn't be able to divorce you and have this guy. But if I did marry you, 
I would just be married to you and have this guy and have all your land. And if you fought this guy, then you'd be all and killed him. Then you'd be all upset and you'd let me marry this guy and I would have him. And if he killed you, then I'd have him. So it was a win, 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 win for me, basically is what she said. And Spock was like, okay, cool. Bye. Good luck with her. And beam back out and he was going to go turn himself in for killing his captain and then Kirk appears behind him and he's like Jim and it was really funny um how he like shifted right into that and then right back into typical Spock um and the end yay everyone's alive and happy it was fun. It has a lot of really classic um, Star Trek music and um, musical cues that you'll pick up on in later series. And um, you'll hear those and you're like, oh, this is the fight scene from this episode and and stuff like that. So I really liked um, seeing that in its original form. Pring's plan was stupid. And um, if she didn't want Spock, then then just don't do it 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 would be the logical thing because even if they were bonded clearly she could stop it because she had all the power um so i don't see any reason for all of that nonsense so the the difference between the tapring in um muck time and in strange new worlds seems to be that um this tapring in the muck time has been basically abandoned and it seems like she feels like forgotten and she's like yes you have all this land and your family's powerful but you're not around and i want someone that's around although that doesn't make a whole lot of sense with vulcans because i feel like they mate for um because their families told them to and for power and for biology so taking this other guy who apparently is a nobody uh why but um so she just seems to be fed up with spock um and almost like what she wants to punish him really for leaving her alone i like the to bring on strange new worlds just because she's uh, not quite as much of a manipulative bitch. Um, I don't know if I can say that word. I'll just say that word. I'll try and think of some way else to phrase it. I think I like to pring on strange new worlds more just because she is not a completely manipulative psycho um, as the to pring on a muck time appears to be. I have really no interest in the Spock and Dupring um, continuing story. I don't know if it's because it seems odd for Spock to have a mate for me because that was the only episode where it was mentioned. So it, it's not a huge thing in the Spock canon that we have in this universe or actually she's not mentioned in the jj verse either so it's not as engaging to me as it would be i guess to some people who are really into tos and know the series and that's like a defining characteristic of spock i thought the way that um mccoy saved kirk was very strange because the fact that he happened to have that tranquilizing agent that made it look like you were dead not just a tranquilizing agent but one that made it look like you were dead and appeared dead to people like everyone in the area including your vulcan best friend um who should have been able to tell that he wasn't dead yeah, but like why do you walk around with that like that was a big vial and you had it in this little teeny tiny pack what why were you walking around with that it was weird. Let me know what other uh, original series episodes you would like me to watch. 
Um, some I remember, some I don't, and some I've never seen. So let me know in the comments which ones you would like. Um, subscribe to uh, Earth Station Trek YouTube channel and find us on whatever podcast platform you prefer and subscribe to us there and live long and prosper. What else was I going to say?